Uh, I'm Ron Spadola, senior, wide receiver, Lehigh University. And going into this year, I expect to, uh, to better myself than what I was last year. I know it will be a lot of work, but season's end, I hope I'm a top of the chart for some of the other phenomenal receivers. I mean, it's very humbling, uh, as the name just said it before. Those are all guys that advanced on to the next level. They're really proving themselves to be very dominant players in their position. And I mean, to be considered along a watch list of, of similar players who won that award is very, very humbling. Um, I know I have a lot of work to uh, get, get through to achieve where I want to be. But um, I'm really looking forward to the challenge and hoping that this season I can advance my game and get to a similar level as those players. Uh, probably the one that stood out the most to me was uh, getting off the Towson. Uh, we were in a I think it was the second drive of the game. Uh, get, game was tied. We're on inside, inside the 10-yard line. And our quarterback made an audible uh, with the play going to me, a deep ball in the end zone, kind of like a fade route, the corner of the pylon. And I broke down my route, looked up in the air, and made a catch over the, de- the defender. And it put us up by a touchdown in the quarterfinal playoff game. So to me, that was one of the most memorable catches. Um, another was probably a deep ball. Longest one of the season against Fordham. We ran a kind of triple uh, triple move route. It was a post, corner post. And Chris hit me dead on in stride. So we went for the touchdown against Fordham. And then another one against our rival Lafayette. I took a nice little hitch pattern, uh, a little quick screen, broke two tackles, and ran all the way down inside the five yard line. And I followed up with a running back, able to get in the end zone and score. I mean, it's awesome. As a receiver, you're expected to make the big plays and get the momentum in the, in the direction of your team. So when you get the opportunity when the ball's in the air to get up there and make a big play and get yards after the catch to get in the end zone, it's a big time adrenaline rush. And, and it's awesome to be able to know that you're the guy to get the team going and to get everyone pumped up and just, just keep going on together as a team. I, I really embrace the experience that I've really been able to gain at Lee University. Um, going in right away, I knew it was a place that I'd be able to fit in. A bunch of my teammates, uh, students around campus, they're all very similar to me. Uh, I've been able to achieve, I've been able to achieve and excel in the classroom. Um, I've also been out there socially, become part of a fraternity. They really kind of got them been pretty social and really embraced the college experience. Um, Lehigh also has helped me out very much with football. Past two years, they've really given me the chance to show what I'm all about, and uh, I've been able to uh, excel and get to where I am today. I mean, yeah, I've been playing football for since I was in second grade. It's always been a huge part of my life. Um, growing up, my dad pretty much was one of the people that kind of got me into it. Was a coach for me for many years. Unfortunately, he passed away my sophomore year of, uh, of high school. I actually took off the football that year. I had a lot of stuff going on. Got back into it my junior year and just kind of with him uh, behind my back. I mean, he only wasn't that physical, I knew he was there mentally. Uh, he kind of pushed me forward and got me to where I currently am today. I also have a loving mother and two siblings who have also been with me every step of the way to the highs and lows. And I also have two grandparents, one who just passed away and one who's currently up and about. And uh, they've kind of been my motivation going forward and they keep me working hard in those hot, tough days, and in those pressure situations in the field. I kind of do everything for them, and they've kept me, full, kept me going forward. Uh, I've never, never been too much of a fashion guy. I'm pretty basic, I, I like to call myself. I wear everything just from a college shirt, going to classes with some khaki pants. I'm going out on the weekends, uh, wear anything from dress shoes to boots and jeans, and like, usually a nice beanie to go out in. Um, I'm not too crazy fashion-wise, but when I go out, I try to look good and presentable. Well, first off, our campus is broken down. It sits on the mountain. It's broken down into two parts. We have our undergraduate side, which is all academics, on one side of the mountain. And on the other side of the mountain is our athletic campus. Um, our campus is, is very easy to get around on, although it's, it's very uphill and it's tough to walk. Our dormitories and our fraternity and sorority houses sit on top of the academic uh, buildings. And towards the base is the academic buildings. So the one straight wall that gets you to every building you possibly need. The maximum walk you have to take from one end of campus to the other is about eight or nine minutes. It's not too big, it's not too small. And the uh, athletic side is very open, pretty much all basketball. All the uh, athletes are over there training day in and day out. 
As far as where to go on campus, the best place to eat is a place called the Goosey Gander. You go in there every single day, and the line's always at least 30 minutes long. They make fabulous sandwiches, um, dinners, breakfasts, everything you think of. He really is good at cooking. Um, As far as places to go and hang out, we have a, a shopping mall about... 10 minutes down the road, and when you go there, they have restaurants, places to shop, to get clothes, they have movie theaters. That's a nice little social gathering that you see a bunch of the guys at, the girls at over the weekends. Um, I don't say but too many odd or unique things about me. Um, I try to stay active in everything. Um, I, I do like playing a lot of different sports. I play basketball. Um, I run in my free time. I love working out. I play golf, uh, do tennis. Um, I love going to the beach, and I like kind of either doing surfing type things or bodyboarding. I'm a water guy. Um, but pretty much anything that keeps me athletic and not going that's outdoorsy, I'm all about. I like being out in the fresh air and doing something physically. So I'm pretty open-minded with anything like that. Um, I, I don't consider myself a trash talker. I usually try to talk with, with my athletic ability on the field or the plays I make. Um, coming up far in the scrimmage, I would say, depending on the play, I have a different mindset. If it's a run play, I'm always trying to read the coverage shell to see if the safety's coming down, and it will be my responsibility. Um, if it's also a run play, I'm always trying to think of how the corner will react, how the safety will react, how I get the best leverage on him so my running back can get downfield. And if it's a pass play, I'm just thinking of how I'm going to possibly get open, whether the uh, open area will be on the field, and once I get the ball, how I'll get in the end zone. Uh, yeah, uh, going to this next season, I think the thing that excites me the most, just being able to have the ability to go out with a third straight Patriot championship. Uh, a lot of people are doubting us in terms of what we can do offensively because of us losing Chris Lum as our quarterback last year. But I have the utmost confidence in uh, other quarterbacks coming to this camp to bring that offense to where it was in last year. Um, I expect this offense to really, really be balanced. Uh, yeah, Lafayette to us has always been a rival. The first thing you learn when you go into the university, the first day of camp, is you're, you're taught about the, the rivalry. You're taught to always have a hatred towards them when you're on the field, and you really don't want to lose to them because it's, it's usually a bitter ending to a season. Fortunately enough, I've never lost to Lafayette so far, and I hope to continue that. Um, but in terms of the rivalry, um, I think Holy Cross might be up there right now with us. Uh, the past year, they, they've given us some good games. So uh, going with them, they're pretty much our, our toughest opponent within the Patriot League, and for that, I kind of consider them a rivalry. But um, for the most part, every game for us is always serious. Whether it's a rivalry or not, we always try to take the opponent as serious as possible. So we know any day any team can perform anyway. So we just want to give it our best no matter what. A big church at Lehigh is uh, our alumni base. Um, our alumni, you see when you pull up, go into the stadium on, on Saturday mornings for game day, you see alumni just caked out all throughout the parking lot and brown and white. And, and it's, really, it's really amazing how supportive they are. Um, also, this huge student section with uh, a giant pre tailgate, student dress in crazy colors. And it's basically usually the, the hot pinks and the neon greens. And then once the game starts, it, it's very common that once someone scores on Lehigh, the uh, gun will go off and a huge can of strike will found. Um, a bell will be rung. And then afterwards, when there's a victory, um, the, uh, the band will go to our uh, alma mater. And afterwards, we get together and gather for a tailgate with alumni and parents. And usually, it's hopefully after the win and we enjoy ourselves. Brian Fedora, senior at Lehigh University, wide receiver. It's been a long offseason so far, you know, training a lot mentally and physically uh, with quarterbacks, just in the weight room. And then the offices for the coaches breaking out. So I'm just trying to kind of improve my game as best as possible going to next season. So I'm looking forward to see how it's going to turn out next year and see how much I improved as a player and a teammate.